Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice Diophantine equation. 57 times x plus 22 times y is equal to 400. Our job is to find all possible values of x and y such that x and y are integers. So, let's start. The linear Diophantine equations of the type a times x plus b times y is equal to c has integer solutions only if uh, this constant c is uh, divisible by the greatest common divisor of uh, a and b and if the constant c is not uh, divisible by the gcd of a and b then the equation has no solutions let's say the gcd gcd of uh, a comma b is equal to d. So, if the constant c is not divisible by d, then this equation has no solution. And if the constant c is uh, divisible by d, then the equation has solutions. And the equation may have infinite number of solutions. So, first we find a particular solution and then we can form a general solution by using that particular solution. And to find a particular solution, we use uh, Euclid's algorithm for finding GCD. So, we rewrite the equation here. The equation is uh, 57 times x plus uh, 22 times y is equal to 400. So, let us find the greatest common divisor of uh, this 57 in this uh, 22. So, according to Euclid's algorithm, we divide this uh, greater number 57 by this uh, smaller number 22 like this 57 divided by 22. 22 times 2 is 44 and we get the remainder 13. In this case, this 57 is as A and this 22 is as B and this 2 is as quotient Q and this 13 is as remainder R. From this, we can form a general equation A is equal to B times quotient Q plus remainder R. And from this equation, if we move this B times Q to the left hand side, then this will become R is equal to A minus B times Q. So, when we divide 57 by 22, we get the remainder R. So, this will become 13 is equal to here A is 57 minus B is 22 times and quotient Q is 2. We continue this process of dividing until we get the remainder 0. So, now we divide this uh, 22 by this 13 like this 22 divided by 13 and 13 one time 13 we get the remainder 9. Now, in this case 9 is as R, this 22 is as A and this 1 is as Q and this 13 is as B. So, we can write that 9 is equal to 22 minus 13 times 1. Now, we divide this 13 by this 9. 13 divided by 9, 9 1 time 9 and we get the remainder 4. In this case uh, R is 4, A is 13, B is 9 and uh, quotient Q is 1. So, we can write here 4 is equal to 13 minus 9 times 1. Now, we divide this 9 by this 4, 9 
divided by 4. 4 2 times 8. We get the remainder 1. So, in this case, uh, the remainder is 1, A is 9, and B is 4. And the quotient is 2. So, we can write this as uh, 1 is equal to 9 minus 4 times 2. Now, we divide this 4 by this 1. 4 divided by 1. In 1 4 times 4. So, we get the remainder 0. Since the remainder is 0, we stop the process. This one is GCD or simply we can write that D is equal to 1. Now, we can find the solution of this equation using these equations. First, in this equation, we replace this 4 with this value of 4, 13 minus 9 times 1. So, this equation will become 1 is equal to 9 minus in place of this 4, we write this value 13 minus 9 times 1 times this 2. Now, we distribute this 2. So, this will become 1 is equal to 9 minus this will become 13 times 2, 13 times 2 minus this 9 times 1 times 2 will become 9 times 2. Now, we move this bracket. So, this will become 1 is equal to 9 negative times 13 times 2 will become negative times 13 times 2. Negative times and negative 9 times 2 will become plus 9 times 2. Now, here we have 9 1 time and here we have 9 2 times. So, this will become 9 3 times. 1 is equal to 9 3 times minus 13 times 2. Now, in this equation we replace this 9 with this value of 9 22 minus 13 times 1. Since 9 is equal to 22 minus 13 times 1. So, this will become 1 is equal to 22 minus 13 times 1 times this 3 minus 13 times 2. Now, we distribute this 3. So, this will become 1 is equal to 20 2 times 3 minus 13 times 1 is 13. So, 13 times 3, 13 times 3 minus this 13 times 2. Next, 1 is equal to 22 times 3. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out negative 13. Negative 13 as common factor in bracket left 3 plus 2. Next, 1 is equal to 22 times 3. This is 3 plus 2 will become 5. So, we write this negative 5 first times 13. Now, in this equation, we replace this 13. This value of 13 57 minus 22 times 2. Since 13 is equal to 57 minus 22 times 2. So, this will become 1 is equal to 22 times 3 minus 5 times. In place of this 13, we write this value. So, this will become 57 minus 22 times 2. Now, we distribute this uh, negative 5. So, this will become 1 is equal to 22 times 3. And then negative 5 times 57, negative 5 times 57, negative times negative will become plus and uh, 
we write this as 22 times 2 times this 5 as 22 times 10. Now we add these two numbers 22 times 3 and 22 times 10. So this will become 1 is equal to 22 times 13 minus this 5 times 57. Now because the original equation is 57 times x plus 22 times y is equal to 400. So we multiply both sides of this equation by 400. We multiply at left hand side 400. We multiply at right hand side by 400. So this 400 times 1 will become 400 is equal to we distribute this 400 this will become 22 times 13 times 400 minus 57 times this 5 times 400 5 times 400 next 400 is equal to 22 times 13 times 400 will become 5200 minus 57 times this 5 times 400 will become 2000. Now because in the original equation we have positive sign plus here. So we can rewrite this uh, negative 57 times 2000 as we can write this as uh, 57 times uh, negative 2000 then we write this uh, plus uh, 22 times uh, 5200 and this is equal to 400 and we write this uh, original equation here 57 times x plus 22 times y is equal to 400 and we compare these two equations it is obvious that x is equal to negative 2000 and y is equal to 5200. So we get a particular solution from many solutions uh, that is x is equal to negative 2000 and y is equal to 5200. Now to find the general solution we use this formula. This original equation this uh, 57 is as a and this uh, 22 is as b. And the greatest common divisor gcd or simply d is equal to 1. So to find the general solution we use this formula x is equal to one particular solution x plus b divided by d times k and y is equal to one particular solution for y minus a over d times k. So the general solution for x is equal to x plus b is 22 divided by d is 1 times k and y will be equal to y minus a is 57 divided by d is 1 times k. So this will become x is equal to x plus 22 times k and this will become y is equal to y minus 57 times k and k can be any integer k can be any integer so this is a one particular solution x is equal to negative 2000 and y is equal to 5200 and this is the general form of many other solutions we can find by using different values of k using 
these two formulas 